hello. Here we are at Melbourne Botanic Gardens, looking at the separation tree. It's October 2011. And you can see around the uh, lower stem very serious vandalism that occurred to this tree um, a bit more than two years ago. It's got lots of stills that I'll insert into the video. I just thought I'd take the opportunity to give you some idea of the scale of the tree and its place in the park next to the pathway. I've actually got a historical photo, the couple, that I'll insert as well that show the age of the tree and its architecture. Branch architecture and how it's relatively unchanged in the last 140 years. Um, estimates for the tree's age, for those that obsess about those things, around 400 years. Beautiful. Eucalyptus camellidensis, with a red gum. Really a baby compared to some that we've seen in the foothills of the Flinders Ranges in South Australia. Anyway, there we are. I'll show you some of the uh, close-ups of the stem injury. But it's a magnificent tree, very, very important to the history of political development of the emerging white settlement in Victoria in the 1800s. Lovely tree. Here are the bell miners. Not such a great animal, but musical. So here we are at the um, separation tree, um, just having completed by the Hort staff here at the gardens. Five bridging grafts and um, four young saplings planted at the base um, for future inarching. So just before the Hessian protection goes on, give you a closer look at the bridging grafts. Lovely. Very small impact with the incisions above and below. Got plenty of stills that I'll include. You can see the minimal impact that's happened here. Fantastic. was hopeful that all of these graphs will take but at this stage just on the eastern side on the opposite side to the path they've got those five five bridges and four saplings cover it over cover it over now hide it <laughs> so placement of Short-term Hessian protection. <laughs> Just to make sure that the grafts are protected from excessive desiccation from morning, late afternoon sun. The bark fell is so thick at that point that there's no, there's no threat putting these little tacks in. There's no going to be no damage to cambial tissue. It's just going to be interesting in the next few years to see how well these graphs take and um, hopefully protect 
the canopy structure and architecture that's so remarkable in this historic tree. So it's a bit windy, so hopefully you can hear me over the top of the wind, but the the plastic fencing, obviously, well, I'll explain. The plastic fencing is to prevent possums from getting in there and eating those little saplings that have just been planted at the back. Possums are always a bit of a challenge in a situation like this see the front, the western side of the injury. There's two quite good uh, strips of connection here and through here and this section through here. But apart from that on the western side there isn't really a lot that survived the attack. You can see a lot of beading, callus beads being produced parenchyma rays that were damaged, the ends of which were damaged and exposed in the vandalism. And some of these have actually coalesced to produce sheets, or sheeting of callus. Some of those areas I think will eventually occlude, but others won't. The distance is too great and desiccation of those beads is too obvious. And there on the back is the Hessian protection for the bridge grafting. 